Assalamualaikum and have a nice day. I am Cik Gudila and our topic today is about human. This is topic for science year 4, unit 2. Human breathing process. As human, we need to breathe to stay alive. Can't you imagine what happens if we hold our breath for a few minutes? <gasps> okay, don't do it. We might die. Next, breathing organs of humans. The breathing organs of humans are nose, trachea, and lungs. This is the main breathing organs of human. We need it. We use it for breathing. Inhalation. During inhalations, air is taken in through the nose, down to the trachea, into the lungs. The lungs will expand and the chest rises outward. The air contains more oxygen. That means the air we inhale contains more oxygen. What happens during inhalations? Our lungs expand and our chest rises outward. Our lung and diaphragm move downward. Next, we move to the content of oxygen and carbon dioxide during inhalation. Inhaled air contains more oxygen compared to the exhaled air. We inhale, the air comes into our body contains more oxygen compared to carbon dioxide. Next, exhalation. During exhalations, the air inside the lungs flows out of the lung into the trachea and then out through the nose. The lungs contract and the chest move inward. The air contains more carbon dioxide. Here is what happens during exhalations. Our lungs contract, our chest rises inward. The air from our lungs moves to the trachea and out from our nose or mouth. Diaphragm moves upwards. The contain of oxygen and carbon dioxide during exhalations. Exhaled air contains more carbon dioxide compared to the inhaled air. Look like this. Can you see? Just imagine the blue one is the oxygen, the red one is the carbon dioxide. The amount of carbon dioxide is more than the oxygen. Why? Because the previous one we inhale the air more oxygen. Our body uses that oxygen and process and then we release carbon dioxide more carbon dioxide this is some science info about human breathing process the first one the size of the left lung is smaller compared to the right because the heart is located on the left side the temperature of exhaled air is higher than the surrounding temperature during breathing <sighs> exhale air okay next Oxygen that enter the body is used to oxidize food, which is glucose, in the cells to produce carbon dioxide, water vapor, and energy. Carbon dioxide and water exit the body through the nose during exhalation process. Next, we move to the rate of breathing. Rate of breathing is the number of chest movement up and down in one minute here are some of the factors that affect the rate of breathing first emotions type of activities age altitude and weather we move to the first one factors that affect the rate of breathing which is type of activities when we are resting our rate of breathing lower when we are exercising or being active, our rate of breathing is higher. When we exercise, our body needs more oxygen, so we breathe faster. This is some of example activities with high breathing rates, such as running, playing football, swimming. And this is the examples of activities with low breathing rates such as reading, sleeping, watching television so that is low breathing rate we are sitting down, relax next 
The second factor is that affect the rate of breathing, which is emotion. When a person is frightened, nervous, or anxious, his rate of breathing is higher than when we or he is calm. So this is the example of emotions with high breathing rate, such as when we are frightened, we are angry with someone, or when we feel nervous or get shocked. Next, factor that affect the rate of breathing, which is emotion. That one, high breathing rate. This one is low breathing rate. When we are calm, when we are sad, we are not doing anything. So that time, our breathing rates are lower. Next, factor that affect the rate of breathing, which is age. Infants and children have higher rate of breathing than adults. Why? Because their lungs have smaller capacity compared to adults. Therefore, they need to breathe faster to get enough oxygen. The last one, which is the factors that affect the rate of breathing, which is the altitude. As a result, the person who at higher altitude need to breathe faster to get more oxygen needed thus have higher breathing rate. Remember, the higher the altitude, the lesser the oxygen. That's why when someone with at a higher altitude, higher place, they need to breathe faster. They need more oxygen. Next. Oh, we have another one. <laughs> Factor that affect the rate of breathing, which is weather. The rate of breathing is higher when we are in hot weather compared in cold weather. I think that's it for our lessons today. You can scan for an extra note. And thank you very much for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.